Hello and welcome to another Wobbly Camera Guy video. Have you ever wanted to create a thumbnail image from your video but from anywhere within your video rather than the standard defaults that YouTube is usually select for you when you're uploading your video to your channel? Normally they'll give you an image from either the start, approximate middle or the end of your video and invariably that's not quite the image that you want. So this is the way I found I've done it in HitFilm Express. It might be not be the, the, the best way or the correct way. Um, but nevertheless, it's a while found, so I thought I'd share it with yourself and you might find it useful. So, in my timeline, I've just got a short video clip here of a puppet. And what I'd like to do is choose a frame that I think is going to best suit our thumbnail image to get the best attraction of, of possible sort of viewers. And that would actually make quite a good shot. So, okay, we could export that in terms of just making a thumbnail for it. but. Why don't we enhance it a little bit just to make your thumbnail stand out a little bit from the crowd and perhaps give you more attention. So the way we do this is first of all to create a composite shot. So here's our composite shot. Let's get back to the image that I wanted. There we go, something like that. Okay, and what I've done, I've just downloaded just a couple of little images that um, you might like to uh, use I'll well, show as an example, I should say. I can't speak today, can I? All I've got simply there is a, an image, and this could be your channel logo, it could be another photograph in photograph, it could be all sorts, but I'm just trying to demonstrate what we've got there. So I'll just quickly resize that. And then perhaps you want to add a subscribe banner, that'd be quite good. So we'll just insert that there. We'll move it across to the appropriate size of the screen, enhance it size wise a little bit. And straight away we've got something going on there and what would be nice even if we could actually put a little bit of text so why not so if we go into text grab an arrow screen that we want to and let's call it and we'll call it pause for thought okay so what I need to do now is just make this text larger and better so first of all it's gone into the text dialog box on the bottom there we'll call the text height 200 we'll change the text say to comic and perhaps change the color as well something a little bit more appropriate so there we go go on to the arrow we'll just move that across and there you go. That's make a nice little sort of thumbnail for our video. As I say, this is just purely just an example, just playing around with really. And um, what we could do in HitFilm Express, it gives you the option to export a frame. So if we export a frame, and I'll put this back to um, where I've saved the rest, and we'll just call it thumbnail.png. So that now is creating our PNG file. Now then, if we go to our file, and that's our PNG, can open that up, and yeah, that looks great, exactly what we want. But there is a problem. The problem is, if we do a right click and click properties, you will see we've got a seven megabyte file size. And unfortunately, YouTube will not allow you to upload a thumbnail greater than two megabytes. So how do we get around this? Well, the way I thought found doing this, and again, it could be right, it could be wrong, but it's the way I've sort of found to do it, is if we just slice our video clip, oops, sorry, should go back into editor, shouldn't I really? Get the little razor blade symbol there. And now if we just get rid of the um, majority of our video clips, so we've just got the tiny and tiny little video clip, this fraction of a second, which is our little pause to thought one. If we export it, so export it as if you're actually sort of making a film, but this is going to be the shortest one in the world. And we'll just call it, I'll call it, let's call it Pup One, just so we can identify it. So there you go, it's starting to export it. If my Steam Power computer would uh, get a wiggle on. And there we go. So for reveal the output, there is our PUP1 MP4. Now then, the way we create this and create a thumbnail, go into the little pencil, click Save Photo from the video, hit Save Photograph, discard those two, 
there's our put moment. So when I open that up, there's the image that we want. So we've got our text, we've got our graphics, our subscribe, etc., etc. So I'll close that. But if I do a right click, go to properties, you'll see that look only 340k. So we've reduced that file stone right down and made it into something that you can actually um, upload into your YouTube channel. And that's this. Uh, as I say, it might not be the best way of doing it or the correct way of doing it. Um, hit film guys, you experts, you might be able to show me a 10 times quicker way of doing it. But this is the way I thought of um, doing it and found a way to do it. So I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you did, then give me a thumbs up. As you can tell, I'm learning, but slowly getting along and I'm helping you joining me with this learning curve as well. Um, there's plenty more videos on my channel on HitFilm Express and other things. So if you've got time, pop across. Uh, it's always trying to add new videos on every other week. So hopefully there's something there of interest. And as always, I always say I appreciate you watching and I'll catch up with you soon.